School of Νέα Πέραμο and we are here in Κτήμα Γεροβασιλείου in Επανομή Θεσσαλονίκη uh, to talk uh, because of the Erasmus Plus program to talk about wine and the wine industry with Mrs. Livadiotti. Uh, when was the estate built? Um, Mr. Evangelos uh, Zerovasiliou, the winemaker and the owner, uh, began his first plantings in 1981 and uh, in 1986 the, the first part of the winery was built. Okay, that's interesting. Um, the idea of making the wine house it was Mr. Zerovasiliou. Yes, uh, Mr. Zerovasiliou comes from Epanomi, from our village. Uh, his uh, father was a farmer. Uh, he used to um, help his father uh, in the fields. Uh, he used to love the land and uh, that's why he um, decided to study first agriculture at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. And then he went to Bordeaux in France in order to study enology. His father used to make wine for uh, his uh, home, a uh, home wine, from uh, for friends and relatives. Okay. And how many workers does the estate employ? Uh, nowadays we are uh, 69 people um, in all the departments, mm -hmm. from the vineyard to the administration and to sales and. Uh, what products do you export and in which countries? All of our wines, um, first of all, we produce only wine and uh, all of our wines uh, are for exports as well. Um, we, we, uh, we do exports in several countries, not only in Europe, but worldwide as well. Um, first of all, um, I would say Germany is a very good market for us, uh, but uh, Canada as well, uh, USA, um, Japan, and many countries in Europe. Nice. And 35% uh, of our production is for exports. Nice. And how do you promote these products in Greece or international? Uh, promotion. Uh, we do participate in several wine competitions in Greece and uh, worldwide as well. Uh, the Zero Vasiliou daughters <laughs> are in uh, London today because they will participate in uh, a wine show. Um, we send our wines to wine competitions in Greece and in other countries as well. And uh, after that we do our, um, the modern way of uh, advertising, the social media, our site, our newsletter, uh, and of course, uh, for us, uh, a basic part of our marketing is uh, our visits, our visitors. Because we believe that regarding wine, um, the best way for someone to get in contact with wine is to taste the wine, to meet the winemakers, to meet the people who work in a winery, that's why we believe that our visitors are the ambassadors of our wines. And what kind of qualifications should someone have in order to involve in this wine industry? Uh, it's interesting that uh, um, there are many, um, uh, how do you say, many studies that you can study several things and then you can uh, get involved in wine industry. Of course, if you if you wish to be a winemaker, for sure you have to study agriculture and then enology, or chemistry and then enology. But for me, it's more interesting to study agriculture, agronomy, because it's very important to know the the vine, the grape, very well. Uh, so I think that uh, the most important thing is uh, to study. Uh, depending on which area you can, you wish to work for wine industry. I mean, if you want to be, as I said, a winemaker, you have to study agriculture and enology or chemistry and enology. If you want to uh, uh, 
uh, BS sommelier, you have to study, I mean there are many schools uh, in Greece as well, in university, in uh, higher education, in uh, technological education, in seminars that you can study several things regarding wine. From enologist to sommelier to marketing, uh, sales manager, uh, graphic designer, photographer, I mean, many, many uh, things. And what if someone wants to launch uh, his own uh, wine business? Does this have p potential for the future? Uh, I say, uh, I mean, in my opinion, I think yes. Uh, because uh, for me the most important thing regarding wine is the, the vineyard, the grapes. And Greece is a very, has a very interesting microclimate, a very interesting and diverse di soils in all around uh, Greece. So I believe that it's very interesting for, uh, uh, for young people to get involved with uh, this uh, factor. Of course, uh, it's not easy because uh, you have to do with uh, uh, the weather as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not uh, so easy. I, I, I think that you, have, you need to have patience in order to produce a good wine. Because if you plant a vine today, uh, it will give you grapes for wine after three years. Let's start from this. After that, you have to do it step by step. But I think that the most important thing is to love uh, grape and grapes, the, the land, the wine, uh, to study about uh, the subject. Uh, and uh, I'm very optim optimist about the future of wine uh, in, uh, in Greece. Uh, and I could, I'm sorry. Uh, I would say uh, probably Horonis uh, has already told you about uh, Mr. Zerovasiliu's uh, history. Mr. Zerovasiliu uh, uh, had only 1.2 uh, hectares uh, from his father, nothing else. Uh, of course, he had the land. He had this small part of the land in Epanomi. Uh, but he wanted to study. I mean, in a period of time that probably was one of the most, uh, one of the first enologists uh, in Greece. And we are talking about in the middle of 70s. Um, and uh, he began with two and uh, point, uh, 1.2 hectares and with a very small part of the winery in order to, uh, use, it, to use the first two tanks for the fermentation. Mm -hmm. So, you need patience, uh, you need hard work, a little bit of luck as well, of course. But uh, I think the most important is uh, love, study, and uh, um, to, to really have a passion for your work. I see. And uh, do someone need a, like a large capital to start this business or the EU or the Greek government uh, fund this new wine? There are, there are several programs uh, from, Europe, from Europe and from Greece as well to help new producers, uh, new winemakers, uh, uh, new um, uh, people in the business. Uh, it depends. I mean, you need to start from a low level with, uh, I mean, and it depends what you want to do. The first thing is to plant the land. I mean, this is the first step. Uh, so you don't need many things. Uh, but after that, it depends. If you want to do, produce a red wine, you can do it with uh, 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 the minimum uh, things. It's too complicated and it's not so easy. It's not. For example, uh, something like um, a computer or uh, you can uh, create an app mm -hmm. and you, in six months you will have the results and you, you will be able to promote it and you will have uh, uh, with no budget at all, only with your computer you can create uh, a business. It's not so easy. 
uh, but it's a, it's a very difficult question because it depends on what you want to do. I think that, uh, um, especially for you, uh, who, because you are too young, I think that uh, the only thing that you have to worry about is to find what you love in order to create it. I think that you have the future and you don't have to, to think about um, programs and uh, uh, the capital and uh, these things. Only the subject. Thank you very much. It was really interesting, everything you said. You're welcome. Thank you too. Uh, I wish you the best for your life. Thank you.